I wanted to clarify something. The television industry has 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 put out some disinformation into the world. You know what I'm saying? And it's got something wrong, right? Um, I want to talk about hackers. The difference between a hacker and a cracker. A hacker. This is a term that originated back in the 50s and the 60s with all of the professors and the and the first computer programmer people and all that stuff, right? What a hack is, this is a true definition. What a hack is, a hack is, is just like a simple script or a plugin or a rewrite of a piece of code that's already in a system that's like a patch that they put over to get, get fixes something that's wrong. Because computer code, computer language, especially machine code, right, is something that is, it's, it's an exact syntax science. The mis this because what you're doing is you're talking to the machine and you're telling it what to do in certain situations. It's like the framework of a website. When you're looking at a website online, you're looking at a whole bunch of code stacked on top of each other that renders the website. Right? Well, original hackers were those guys that created these little scripts and these little programs that patched the holes in the code so that it worked. Because just like anything else, it's gonna sometimes it breaks, sometimes it gets overloaded because the scaling is wrong and there's too many people log on all at once and something breaks. You know, just like you know, you've you've done this a zillion times. You, you, your browser crashed or or you were looking at a website and it crashed. That's because the code broke somewhere in the line. Well the original hackers were these guys, right? A cracker is the one that's the criminal the one that has the criminal intent and the mindset, they're the ones that use these code scripts and these programming tricks and these ideas and this mindset and this understanding on how to write code, how to make, how to render websites and how to create frameworks and, and stuff, you know, saying that it supports all of the stuff that's behind Facebook, right? Something that you, that you don't even know about, something that doesn't even register in your mind, you know what I'm saying? The crackers are the guys that write all the bad code, all the evil, mean stuff that's sticking around to do bad things. Hackers are not bad people. That, that's the television misrepresentation, right? Because it's easier, it's easier to have some computer guy, it's easier in make-believe world to have some computer guy crack right in and feed him some stuff and link together all of the traffic cams and watch, watch the chase real live time. You, you know, you, yeah, yeah, yes, we can do that, but we can only look at one traffic cam at a time. You can't link a bunch of them together and watch. I mean, that, that, that's only capable in a closed circuit television system like they have in England. Like there's 10 million cameras all around the city of England and they, but they can't link video B feed. They can only link images. So, that, so they have the machine set up but they take image, image every three seconds, every five seconds. And then they just feed those together and they can follow you along. I, I read this thing in the Daily Mail a couple years ago. This is kind of funny. This got me to thinking about this and asking my friend about it. They, they caught this dude robbing a bank. This is why. They backtracked it from the time he ran out of the front door of the bank. They backtracked it through all of the closed circuit traffic cameras and cameras that are up on the sides of the buildings over there. They tracked this fool right 14 blocks straight back to his front door of his flat. Right? And within a matter of minutes, the dude was in there counting the money when the police kicked in the door and busted him. That's how much control, you know, saying that they really have. Right? That's what hackers, hackers don't do these things. Hackers are the guys that figure out the ways to patch the system to keep it working. Crackers are the ones that, use the, that have the bad intention and, and want to use all of this stuff to their own gain to make illicit money, to make dollars, to, to do stupid stuff, to, to you know, there, there's a huge difference, you know what I'm saying? A lot of the old timers, a lot of like, like Wozniak and, some, and that dude Thompson and some of them dudes that were around back in the day, you know what I'm saying? It's a disservice, you know what I'm saying, to, to call these dudes crackers because these dudes were true hackers. All of those old time guys, you're saying the professors, the Berkeley, all the people that Berkeley had developed the systems, the guys that invented the mouse, the guys that invented all of the, the way the operating systems work for us, right? They were the ones that hacked all this stuff to patch it. Just, it's just like, like everybody's favorite Russian on the internet, you know what I'm saying? He's always doing life hacks and 10 different balloon hacks and 22 different hacks how to get your dog to take a bath, right? Okay. He's giving you something that you can insert 
right, that makes it better or makes it simpler. That's what a hacker is. A hacker is not a criminal out to intent out to steal your shit, right? Read the hacker manifesto. Look it up on the internet. Hacker manifesto, right? A lot of those people with that mindset came out of the '70s and the '80s, right? Those people deserve our respect. You know what I'm saying? And our thanks and our gratitude for creating the systems that we have today that allows people like me to do this right here. People like you to do what you do. To download music onto your phone. Right? They were the ones that came up with all of these patches and, and ways, workarounds and stuff that made it work. Thank you.